Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots, Lurkers, Shills, Desolate, Shirts, Peasants, Vassals, Minions, Meat Sacks. I'm a useful idiot. Welcome. And uh, actually, good morning here. And uh, I'm a useful idiot. Maybe I already said that. It's kind of early in the morning. But anyway, today I want to talk about uh, uh, Libya. Uh, very interesting uh, circumstances unfolding there. I did a video previously about ISIS uh, declaring they had a presence in Libya. And at the time, it was a, a mere germ of a presence. And uh, since then, it has blossomed. And so we see this uh, uh, very uh, interesting situation. Just first of all, uh, Libya has, of course, a symbiotic relationship with ISIS uh, throughout that region because a flood of weapons that NATO provided, uh, of course, uh, ended up in Libya and then from Libya spread throughout the region. So inevitably, a lot of the weapons uh, that ISIS got their hands on uh, came from Libya, uh, certainly in the past, and probably uh, continually. And uh, so now uh, we also see this phenomenon that I've discussed in other videos, and, sort of, and of course other pundits have discussed as well, where uh, the ISIS is a franchise, and we saw that recently with uh, Boko Haram in Nigeria, who have really nothing to do with ISIS in the Middle East, who declare they they are part of the organization now and part of this new franchise, Mick-Isis. And um, so we're seeing that in Libya now. And uh, not only are we seeing uh, the same formula in Libya as far as uh, a new franchise developing there, not necessarily uh, ISIS fighters streaming from their main focus in, in the uh, Iraq and Syria, ending up in Libya, although we're seeing that now. Um, initially, it's just groups there uh, declaring that they are part of that same movement. And because of ISIS success, uh, we're going to see more of that. We're going to see uh, ISIS filling this vacuum. But uh, another another layer of this same formula that we've seen is uh, we, we see once again in uh, Libya that uh, forces that used to be uh, on the so-called Western side, the United States side, who are fighting against the Gaddafi government, and uh, then were serving the new government in uh, Libya are now declaring their allegiance to uh, ISIS. And so once again, we find U.S. trained leaders, U.S. trained uh, foot soldiers, uh, U.S. supplied weapons, and U.S. supplied uh, logistical knowledge and, and all the like that go with that, uh, now uh, being uh, used by ISIS in Libya. And uh, overall, I think one of the things that's interesting is, like I say, seeing this pattern that ISIS, uh, they thrive on chaos. Uh, they fill these vacuums, and, that, and that's what we're seeing everywhere. Uh, Nigeria being uh, certainly a variation, but uh, Syria and, and Iraq and Libya certainly all uh, fall into that category of uh, complete uh, states that are uh, falling into chaos, thriving, and, and ISIS is thriving in that situation. And also, uh, like I've talked about, uh, other uh, opportunists using these perpetual cycles of violence to uh, uh, further their agenda, we, saw, we see ISIS doing that as well. Uh, they're starting this uh, cycle of violence uh, in, uh, in Libya, uh, including that uh, gruesome, if, if it's real, uh, the uh, beheading of uh, over 20 uh, Coptic Christians, uh, which is uh, announced very loudly that ISIS is in, is in Libya. And so previously I was a, a little skeptical of just how much real ISIS presence there was in Libya, but now it's pretty safe to say uh, that through this uh, methodology that they use, ISIS is now entrenched and spreading rapidly in Libya, and in fact uh, 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 forces loyal to uh, ISIS there are now taking on so-called Al-Qaeda elements, they're taking on local militias, they're taking on the what's left of the Libya government, and they're also taking on uh, uh, General Hifter, uh, the previous government supporter who is now attacking the uh, Islamic militias and uh, going after the Libyan government. So we have another player in this Libyan clusterfuck now, uh, ISIS. So uh, all, all the more tragic for Libya to have all these bad actors all in one place tearing their country apart 
But uh, we will see uh, this perpetual cycle of perpetual violence in Libya that ISIS will uh, perpetrate and uh, Islamic communities will be sending more recruits their way uh, as we see the, these kind of activities spread. And uh, notable in one of the articles I read uh, that uh, Gaddafi uh, turned out to be a very smart man because uh, he gave a speech uh, before uh, Libya fell to NATO in February 2011 and he said that quote they will turn Libya into another Afghanistan, another Somalia, another Iraq. Your women won't be allowed out. They will transform Libya into an Islamic emirate and then America will bomb the country under the pretext of fighting terrorism, unquote. And uh, as we speak, Western powers are uh, discussing uh, once again an intervention in Libya to uh, fight ISIS and uh, all the other hell that the NATO and Western forces have already unleashed there. I'm a useful idiot. Don't you be one too?